you got there, Danny? You fake on the outside, you pivot, and you drive inside your man. Okay? All right, you try. All right. You try. Okay. Ah! Two feet tall, you'd look like Lou Allison. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it for tonight. Now I want everybody to take one of these, and we start practice again next week. Okay. All righty. By the way, tonight sodas are on me. <laughs> hey, uh, thanks, Mark, but I gotta get back to the store. My old man's taking an inventory tonight. Well, you got a rain check. Stay loose, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Any questions from anybody? Come on, let's yeah. go. Let's go. That's what I like about you, athlete. You're all business. No messing around with unprofitable things like, uh, hello. Hey, uh, Manny, uh, you get the feeling he doesn't want his playmates to see him with us? Look, if we're gonna do it, let's go. <laughs> This was found on the ground next to the watchman. So far, we are going on the assumption that this was dropped by one of the thieves. Looks like a diagram. The warehouse? I don't think so. Besides, why would they mimeograph it? Last night's job follows the exact pattern of the past six warehouse thefts we've had this month. Only selected items were taken. Small, easily portable, resaleable merchandise. Sounds like you're up against big business, the steal-to-order ring. That's our thinking, too. Then they're either working for or through a fence. We've kept a running check on all the known fences. So far, none of the items have shown. Chances are they won't. Whoever's behind this operation sells direct to the buyer. No middlemen. All right, Harry, what's up? You've handled a hundred of these cases before. You don't need our help. This time, I do. You saw the thumbprint? On that? Sure, whose is it? That's right, your thumbprint. Chief, it's impossible. You know that. And you know prints don't lie. What is that, Mark? All right, what is it? That's what your thumbprint is engraved on. Well, we had the lab run it through twice. There's no possibility of error. I don't know how it got to the warehouse. Level with us, Mark. That's the truth. In my book, a half-truth is the same as a whole lie. 
I know, in my book, too. Then you know I can't let this drop. I wouldn't expect you to. I wouldn't even ask. Chief, we're both after the same thing, believe me. But I've got to get to it my way. And if I beat you to it, I figure I've got a head start, if you let me keep it. All right, I'll let you keep it. But for your own sake, Mark, not for long. Thanks. Hey, Mark, want to see me? <laughs> yeah, Gene. Last night after sodas, where'd you go? I went home. Why? Well, straight home, no stops. Yeah, I, I had some homework. How come you want to know where I was? Well, nothing for you to worry about. You didn't lose that sheet of plays I gave you, did you? No, as a matter of fact, I have them right here. I was practicing some of them. Hey, what's coming off? Well, it's nothing for you to get uptight about. Hey, Jim. Thanks. Hey, Willie, got a minute? Hey, man, what are you doing here? Well, wanted to talk to you. Is, uh, here okay? Make it fast, huh? The boss runs a plantation here. <laughs> Look, I uh, draped up a switch on one of those plays I gave you last night. I wanted you to have it. You came all the way out here just for that? Well, I didn't want you to step off on the wrong play next practice. You got that play sheet I gave you last night? I guess. Well, then, let's have it. Come on, man. I ain't got time for that. Look, it won't... It won't take but a minute. The boss sees me. Look, you got the play sheet or not. I told you, I... Well, then, let's see it. It's important. Hey, man, what is this? I'm kind of aroused. Willie, listen. I am. But I don't hear a basketball coach talking now. Or like that gimp cop's best boy. All right. Then straight. There was a warehouse hit last night over on Gardner. So you come straight to me. I'm going to everybody on the team. Like... Baloney! I'm the boy with the record. One of my busts was for breaking and entering, and you come to me like a rat to the cheese. You got a lousy memory, man. Now, who talked that gimp cop into getting your parole? Now, that place, you got it? What's that got to do with anything? Everything. It's the whole apple. Now, where is it? Still in my jacket. All right, then you check it. Yeah, you had to do it. But why me, man? Why me? Look, it's not just you, Willie. It's everybody on the team. Now, one of the guys isn't going to have it, Paper. I've got to get to him, Willie, before they do. Hey. You know who he is? saying that Danny's basketball coach is here. Oh, he hadn't come in from school. Something I can help you? Oh, uh, no. You want, maybe he should call you. Well, I'll drop back. Thank you. Sorry to keep you, Mrs. Albert. That's perfectly all right. I think it's good the teachers take a personal interest in boys. Believe me. Mm. It's extra fresh, Mrs. Albert. Uh, I just got it in this morning. Uh, <laughs> 
Just a quarter pound, Mr. Goodson. Hi, Miss Albert. Good afternoon, Danny. Hi, Pop. Danny, somebody's just looking for you. Harry! Looking for me? Who? Harry! Harry, what are you doing? I need you. Go ahead, Pop. I'll take care of Mrs. Albert. watch it all day. It's ruining what's left of my eyes. It's interfering from the factory next door, Sarah. All the machines. You don't know how to fix it. I heard Danny send him in. He's busy with a customer. You take care of the customer. Danny always fixes it for me. I want Danny to do it. Thank you, Danny. You always seem to have a special touch with it. Danny, aren't you going to spend two minutes with me? I have to put some stock away. Well, that can wait. Uh, turn off the television set. Come over and sit down. Since when do I have a contagious disease? Sit here where I don't have to shout. I promised Pop I'd finish before I left. You just got home. Where are you running? Danny? Danny, I'm stuck in this place all day. Alone. What's happened to you? Nothing's happened to me. We used to be friends, good friends. Now you don't spend even two minutes with me. It's that girl, isn't it? That crazy girl. Don't call Jamie crazy. Don't yell at me for saying the truth. That girl's a mental case. You're selfish, Danny. You'll spend all your time with a strange girl, but not with your mother. I hope to God you know what you're doing to me. I'm not doing anything to you. You lie in here all day because you want to, not because you have to. I've heard the doctor tell you that ten times. He's a liar! Ask your father. He knows how sick I really am, not the doctor. I've got to go. A door is to knock on. Sorry, I know. And we kind of think of this as uh, home. This is not your home, Manny. This is a business office. And it's Mr. Kane, not Arnold. Right? I forgot. Yes. Hello, Danny. How's my boy? Good morning, Mr. Kane. <laughs> As you boys know, I plan every job down to the fine print. Nothing is ever left to chance. Not one of my people has ever come near to a close call. Until now. So that wasn't our fault, Mr. Kane. That watchman was off schedule. He made a swing around back too early. Wrong. I had that job staked out for a solid week. That watchman was never more than 10 seconds off schedule. And I allowed for that in the timings I gave you. You goofed. He didn't get a good look at us. It, it was too dark. Tell him, Danny. It was pretty dark. I don't think he could identify me. That's only part of it. You had to go and hit the old man. That makes the cops more interested in us than ever. 
Right now, they don't have a single clue to this operation. And I want to keep it exactly that way. So do we. But I'm telling you that we weren't to blame for it. Exactly that way, Manny. Understood? I have another job for you, boys. Hang loose. Danny, stay for a minute, will you, please? Danny, Danny, Danny. <laughs> You've done three jobs for me, right? Do you have any complaints? No, Mr. Kane, I'm satisfied with the deal. You mind if I ask you a personal question? I don't think so. Why are you in this? For the money. And how are you using the money? Why? Because a boy your age sometimes gets a little flashy when he's got a few extra coins jingling in his pocket. Could start people talking. Asking embarrassing questions. How I use the money is my business, Mr. Kane. You've got nothing to worry about. Are you sure about that? Positive. I hope so. For your sake, Danny. Is he home yet? He was, but then he had to go out again. You sure there's no message I can give him? No, thanks. I'll call back. <laughs> Take a half an hour. If it's important, it is. You know who the boy is. <laughs> what boy? The boy on your basketball team, the boy who was involved in the warehouse robbery. <laughs> well, that's a wild guess. Really? Mark, the watchman at the warehouse regained consciousness. He said teenagers hit him. Teenagers? There are millions of them in this town. The lab broke down the mimeograph paper. Stock supplied to all city departments, including the community center. That doesn't mean anything. Take it from this angle. What extracurricular activity of yours involves diagrams? Answer, basketball. What night was the warehouse robbed? Answer, Wednesday. The one night in the week you hold basketball practice. And finally, who do you care enough about to risk an accessory rap? Answer, that team of yours. Still think it's a wild guess? And I thought I had a head start. Who's the boy? <sighs> Chief, listen, these are ghetto kids. It took me six months to get their confidence. And if a division full of cops moved in on them now, they'll be tearing down everything I've busted my tail to build up. It's a felony. Which is exactly why I've got to get him to turn himself in. I've been there before, and I know it's better to walk in than to be dragged in. Who's the boy, Mark? I take the fifth for both of us. I don't get that. If I told you, I'd have to ask you for time to get him to surrender. And if you said yes, you'd be an accessory after. Someday I'm going to burn his law books. You think he can pull it off? They need some backstopping. Eve, call the community center. I want to talk to that team this afternoon. Mr. Gutson. Can I help you? Oh, Mr. Singer. Singer. That's right, the basketball. Danny hasn't come home yet. I know. I wanted to talk to you. Me? Something with Danny? The night before last, Wednesday night, did Danny help you take inventory in the store? Why do you want to know that? Is Danny in any trouble? He might be. What kind of trouble? What could Danny do? 
Mr. Kitson, please. Did Danny help you take inventory last Wednesday night? Are you a policeman, mister? No, I'm... I'm Danny's basketball coach. You ask questions like a policeman. Danny never told me he had a colored boy for a coach. Sarah! What do you want to know about Danny for? What business is it of yours where he was, Wednesday or any other night? Because I'm his friend. And I'm trying to get some answers from him before the police do. I don't know what you're trying to accuse Danny of. But you get out of here with that kind of talk. Are you listening? Now you get out of this store! Danny was here Wednesday night. That answers you. Now get out! Sarah, the boy is in trouble. That fellow knows something about Danny. What could he know? Danny's a good boy. He's never once been a problem. Sarah, we both know that Danny came in after midnight Wednesday. some free time and I thought I'd rap with you for a while, okay? Sure, Groovy, I'm heading for the bus. Okay. Danny, how are things going in school? Well, could be worse, except for math. You too? I still sweat the addition on Benedict. Hey, Mark, you didn't just happen by to kill time. Danny, I've got you tagged as being in on a warehouse robbery Wednesday night. Hey, man, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about trouble, big trouble. Now, the police found a scrap of paper at the warehouse. It was torn off of one of those play sheets I handed out the other night. A scrap of paper can't prove it was me. Danny, come on. Now, if I could track you down that easy, what do you think they can do? I didn't hit the watcher, Mark, I swear it. All I had to do was get them into the place, that's all. I never meant for anybody to get hurt. All right, Danny, you just tell that to the chief. He'll help you. Just tell it like it is. I've got to see somebody first. You don't have time for that. Look, I've got to go say goodbye to someone. Someone important. Can I go with you? No. Danny! You're not going to do anything stupid, are you? I swear I'll meet you at the store. Eight tonight, for real. Trust me, Mark. What makes you think these are for you? I bet one of them isn't what I'm just dying for. How do you know? Because they don't wrap pizza in colored paper with ribbons, that's why. <sighs> Come on.
chest is the grooviest thing I ever saw. I had to guess at your size. I hope it fits. It was just perfect. Oh, and I knew why you got it, too. The school dance next week. I'm going to wear it with my brown leather miniskirt and those new boots Mom got me. Danny, are they going to have a band or records? Danny, live music or records? Jamie, I'm not going to the dance. I have to go away for a while with my parents. But you'll be here next week, right? You wouldn't leave me all alone. Well, you're the only one I can talk to. You're the only one who understands. Oh, I don't want to go, Jamie, but the doctor says my mother's got to be in a warmer place. We're going to visit my uncle in New Mexico. Oh, Danny, you promised. I want to go to the dance with you, Jamie, but I can't. I just can't. Oh, you're a liar! You're a liar and you stink! You stink! You don't want to go with me! I hate you! You stink! You're ashamed of me! You think I'm crazy! Oh, oh I hate you! Oh. You'd better go. I'm wrong, but I detect a strong air of disapproval. Monk was very concerned about the team, keeping the police away from them. I share that concern. But he overlooked the fact that I'm merely a consultant, not an official. A fine point. Point, nevertheless. What about Ed and me? I'll try not to compromise you. My name is Ironside. This is Miss Whitfield and Ed Brown. Well, first, we'd like to thank you boys for your cooperation in coming down here this afternoon. We'd like to talk to you individually. We'll try to be as brief as possible. We'll start with Jeff Riggs. Fine. Will the rest of you please wait in the next room? Basketball practice here Wednesday night, were you not? Yes, sir. Did you bring that sheet of plays that your coach handed out that night? Yes, sir. Oh, may I have it, please? Thank you. I didn't call you down here to listen to you cry. I've got a setup for tonight, and you're in. I told you I've made up my mind. I'm not going to work for you anymore, Mr. Kane, and that's final. You little punk, don't you tell me what's final. You want it in and I let you in. And when it's time for you to leave, I'll be the one to make that decision. Not you. What's wrong? You got the shakes all of a sudden? Yeah, maybe I do. Anyway, how are you going to make me do it if I don't want to? I can think of a dozen ways right now. And if you've got any bright ideas about going to the cops, forget it. Your parents are old. That store is all they've got. I sure would hate to see anything happen to it. Like a fire. Wouldn't you? You don't scare me. Okay, Bernie, thanks for helping us out. That's all? You can go. Oh, one more thing, Bernie. Are you friendly with Danny Goodson? Sure. Well, kind of, I mean. Do you know why he didn't come here today? 
Well, he probably had to stay and help out at his dad's store or something. Thank you, Bernie. Goodson boy is the only one that didn't show. When I spoke with his mother, she said she'd give him the message. Let's deliver it personally. I told you, Mr. Ironside, I gave Danny the message to be at the community center. I don't understand why he didn't come. Did he say anything to you about it? Look, since when did this country turn into a police state? What do you want from Danny? First that colored boy, now you. I know my rights, mister, and you don't have any business making my life more miserable than it already is. All we want to know, Mrs. Goodson, is why Danny didn't show up today. You want to know? Get a piece of paper from a judge. You police think you can get away with murder because people don't know their rights. Well, I do, mister. I do. Now. You big shots can leave my property. Mr. Goodson, perhaps you can tell us. I, I... He doesn't have to answer you either. But it, Danny is in trouble. But they're the ones causing the trouble. We're just trying to help. Sure. Put my son in jail, maybe. That's help. Get out of here! Sir, enough. Leave us alone. Go upstairs. Why are you talking to me like this? You heard me. I said go. Harry. Our boy, Sarah. Our Danny. He's in trouble. And you insult the people who can help him. But they no, won't no. help. Go upstairs, I said. And put some clothes on. I'm sorry, Mr. Ironside, my wife, she isn't well. I understand. Now, about Danny. He said he was going to the center. Can you think of any other place he might be? Unless... Go on, Mr. Goodson. He likes this girl. He goes to see her. What's her name? Jamie. Uh, uh, Jamie Wagner. Would you happen to know her address? State mental institution across the bay. A sweet girl, but... I see. Thank you very much, Mr. Goodson. Mr. Ironside, is it... is it very bad with Danny? Well, we don't know yet. But he has a good friend working for him. Harry! Harry, I need you! Later. I just wants to ask you a few questions. I told him you wouldn't mind. Okay? Sure. Okay, yes. Uh, Jamie? Hi. Are you a patient here? No. But maybe I should have been. I hear it's an excellent hospital. Well, it's okay if you dig loonies. Did they tell you I'm off my bird? They never mentioned that. Are you? How should I know? What do you think? I think you're charming. Jamie, have you heard from Danny Goodson since last visiting day? It's important, Jamie. I wish you would answer me. He's gone to New Mexico, so he wouldn't have to take me to the dance. Then you haven't seen him. I told you he died and went to the dance without me. What time is it, Jamie? 325. That's a very attractive watch. Was it a gift? Yes. Her friend Danny gave it to Jamie for her last birthday. Uh, goodbye, Jamie. That was 
an expensive watch. Yeah. Too expensive for a boy like Danny Goodson and the money he makes delivering orders or working in the market. Chance, Daddy, baby. Kane says you're our boy for a nice job. I told him no deal. Easy, kid. You're in. So enjoy and relax. <laughs> hey, I think we're being tailed. Lose him. Yes, mister. I promise. I promise! Anything? The APB is out. We'll just have to wait. I cruise the whole district after I talk to you. Every alley. It's like they dropped out a manhole. Chief Einstein's office. Yeah, let me have it. Danny was going to turn himself in. I was right there waiting for it. I can't fault your intentions, Mark, but your execution has left something to be decided. Well, I'm sorry. Chief, that was Farrell in homicide. The camera store was hit. Same M.O. Was the owner was shot, seriously wounded. Before they put him on the operating table, he made positive identification. Two small-time punks, the uh, Falazi brothers, and a younger boy who matches Danny Goodson's description. Well, that does it. Robbery and assault with intent to commit murder. me right.
night, take it and dump them down the closest sewer. Hey, this is no time for funnies. Now, we're hot, man. Now, give us our cut and we'll beat it. You're beating it now with no cut. That stuff's poison. I wouldn't unload it if my life depended on it. Yeah, well, our lives do depend on it, Mr. Kane. We did the job. You pay us. I warned you the last time, no violence. I fence merchandise. At best, that carries a grand theft rap. Murder ain't my bag. Take my advice and clear out now while you've got the chance. Not without our cut. Without your cut. Come on, Manny. We'll take it to Boehner. He'll handle anything. He'll cheat us blind. At least we get enough to get out of town. Let's go, kid. No. What do you mean, no? I didn't want any part of this to begin with. You're in anyhow. It will keep my cut. You're going to the cops. Don't snow me. Leave him alone. You ain't giving me orders. Clear out now, the both of you. Come on, Manny. The cops get on to this. I'll know who tipped them off. I don't figure you're that stupid, kid. Hey, I won't tell the cops honest. What are you, uh, what are you gonna do now? Uh, I don't know. Go someplace, I guess. Home, kid, go home. No. Lay low, keep your mouth shut, you'll be okay. No, I can't take it there no more. I gotta get out. I'll, I'll go someplace. Out of town. Danny! You certainly wasn't with them. Thanks, Mario. You've got great eyes and ears. I owe you. The Falazy boys fenced the cameras with Boehner early this morning and beat it out of town. According to Mario, the original fence was to be one Arnold Kane. Kane? He must be new in the game. I never heard of him. Mario hears rumors he runs a motorcycle sales law on Stacy. Probably a front for his fencing operation. I haven't picked up it. All right. What about Denny? He wasn't with the lasers? No. He never went home all night. Well, no sign of him at school. Only one place left. Come on, Ed. See you. I don't want to stay here anymore, Danny. I really don't. You've got to. They can help you here. Oh, not without you, they can't. Oh, I need you, Danny. Will you understand me? You talk to me. Oh, I love you, Danny. Don't talk like that, Jamie. They have the best doctors here. They're going to make you well again. In a little while, I'll come back. We can be together. I've got to go now. like you always said. And you can take care of me. 
Okay, come on. Has she left it before without permission? Never. No sign of her in the garden, and the day room's empty. They're waxing the floor. Mark, get me highway patrol. Keep searching the building. Try and locate anyone who may have seen her in the last I'm half hour. Emergency call. Get me the highway patrol. Oh, well, this is Chief Robert Ironside, San Francisco Police. I've got a probable runaway from the state mental hospital. Where are you kids headed? To the school dance. Danny's gonna buy me a new blouse because I ripped up the first one he got me. It'd get pretty expensive. Well, Danny's got tons of money. He's always buying me presents. Stop. I forgot the doll he brought me. Oh, forget it, Jamie. You don't need it now. Well, yes, I do. I, I wanted to take him to the dance. Stop! I've got to go back! Hey, what do you think you're doing? You almost got us killed. Oh, I'm sorry. She didn't mean anything, mister. She's just a little upset. Yeah, this is about as far as I can take you. But you said that... Oh, I won't do it again. Please. Sorry. I'm in a hurry. Come on now. There's nothing to cry about. He knew, Danny. Just looking at me, he knew. Danny, look at what you're doing. Hey, man, nothing's going right for me. I played it straight with you, but they grabbed me. I didn't want to mess up, but things just ain't breaking right. Look, Jamie's all I got. She doesn't want to go back there, man, and I don't want her to have to. Danny, listen. Drop your weapon and place your hands behind your head. Danny, what I said before still goes. I'll do everything I can to help you. Drop your weapon, or we will shoot. Hold your fire! The owner of the camera store told the police what happened with the gun. He's going to be all right. Danny, you'll have to serve some time for what you did. But you're young. Don't blow it. What's going to happen to Jamie? Well, she can go back to the hospital where they can help her. Danny, I can't promise anything that I don't know anything about. They can do more for her there than you can here now. Yes, yes, I'll tell him. Thank you for calling. Chief? Well, that puts me three up. That was the San Diego police. They caught the Falazi brothers trying to cross into Tijuana. Ha! Huh. And that, sir, is a wrap-up. 
After the way Kane talked, we'll be picking up members of his club for the next week. Well, good news comes in bunches. Funny thing about Kane, though, he showed a soft spot one would hardly expect. He said to go easy on Danny, that the boy never really belonged. A lot of help that's going to be. So oh, I don't know. Add that fact with his age and the fact that he surrendered voluntarily, I think the judge will tend to go easy on him. I still feel that I blew it, sir. So no. Well, your instincts were good. What's most important for Danny, he cared enough to try. So I tried. Mark. Yeah, it's your turn. Well, you can't sink it if you don't take a shot. Thank you.